Hey, what is going on guys? It is Fresh and I am back to bring you guys another player review and today I'm going to be reviewing Oliver Bierhoff. I finally, finally, finally managed to get my hands on a legend. Now, this guy looks pretty great from the, uh, he looks really solid from the car stash. You know, 860,000 coins isn't that bad and I'm actually hoping to make a bit of profit off of him too because I currently have the only one on the market at the moment. So, I'm hoping that somebody will actually buy mines and I can make a really nice and solid profit. But but on to the end game stats. Now, you see the skill stats. Nothing really stood out too much aside from the finishing, heading, shot powers, and the volleys. But then his physical stats are, eight, I mean, 85 jumping is really great. Uh, 84 strength, 95 reactions, and 88 attack and positioning. Now, I honestly do not know where to start with this guy because he is simply great inside the box. Now, I know on the car stats, he doesn't seem that impressive, but I promise people, on the pitch, he plays like an 87 rated player. I mean, this guy is really excellent. First off, his shooting, that chip right there was just absolutely amazing. You know, I, I love that chip. I mean, I don't know. I just love when I score chip goals in general, but this guy has some pretty great shooting. Now, 79 shooting on the card doesn't seem like a lot, but I mean, he has 93 finishing, 87 shot power. And 79 long shots, I think, which actually aren't that bad, too. You know, I managed to get, like, a couple of shots outside the box, but nothing from, like, too far of a range. But, I mean, overall, this guy has some really nice shooting. You know, um, he pretty much has the essentials when it comes to shooting, and that's pretty much great shot power and high finishing because 9 times out of 10, you will finish with this guy inside the box, and you'll get wonderful finishes just like that. Now, this guy, his best trait, honestly, his best trait is his heading. Oh, my God. I could seriously just cross the ball in I just abuse the wings and cross the ball because this guy's heading is unbelievable. I know you saw in the, uh, like a couple of clips ago where this guy got a header and two people were trying to go against him and he managed to jump over both of them and just knock it in with no issue whatsoever. This guy is amazing at heading. I mean, look, this guy is six foot three with 85 jumping. My God, he wins almost every every header i think he didn't win one header for me and that was off of a corner and i think it was like a bit off a bad cross but nevertheless this guy wins some um, great headers i mean you could seriously count on this guy finishing headers and with 94 heading accuracy you're bound to always make them i mean it's seriously almost impossible to miss headers with this guy really great when it comes to heading also really nice and solid uh dribbling you know Nothing too special, but it was okay. You know, it was enough, just enough to get me through some defenders while I am inside the box. Trying to juke him out and go ahead and try to take the shot to score the goal. Now, this guy also has some decent pace, too. Now, I think it's like 79 sprint speed on the car, 74 acceleration, something like that. Which actually isn't too bad because once he is past the last defender, there is no catching up with him. But since he does have low acceleration, he can have a bit of an issue trying to get through the last line of defense. And that's where his 84 strength comes into play. You know, really great strength. Uh, 84 strength... It felt like it because, I mean, he wasn't like Drogba on the ball, like not getting pushed off whatsoever. He did have some moments getting pushed off, but Pepe did have a hard time trying to push him off. So his strength definitely is good because he um, he doesn't just get bullied off the ball. He also has a high reaction, some uh, excellent positioning because when I'm pacing down the wings, this guy is, is always in the box. You know, he's ready for the ball to be crossed in. And honestly, the only cons I can really think about him for is just his poor agility, his three-star skill moves, and he doesn't always make runs. Now, sometimes it's a bit hard trying to force him to make runs. But um, otherwise, then this guy was a really excellent player. You know, three-star skill moves didn't really bother me. The agility is a it's kind of a factor. But honestly, I'm going to still give this guy a 9.5 out of 10 just because he is such an excellent player on this game. I absolutely loved using him. He was such a beast in the box. I mean... He, I seriously just love using him. And overall, he's just an amazing target man. So if you're looking for a great target man, then go ahead and try him out. But if not, I mean, try out Gomez because him and Gomez probably have some similar stats. And honestly, I probably wouldn't pick up this guy until his price drops a bit more just because of the fact that there are some other good substitutes like Gomez. But if you just want to splash the cast, then this guy would be a very great choice for you because he's just such a great player inside the box. Just a great target man overall. But anyways, guys, this is first. I hope you guys enjoyed the play review. Let me know anything that I can do to make these play reviews more useful and entertaining for you guys. And let me know any players that you want me to review from this week's Team of the Week or any legends that are going for 
under 900,000 coins. But anyways, guys, I am out. Thanks for watching. Peace.